Lucky last, Matty Cottrell, number 46. He's got an interesting number, and uh, I must say, I don't, I, have, I don't know much about him. I haven't watched much of him. I, I did see him for a few games in the VFL last year, and I must say, I didn't really notice anything that you know stood out to me that I can report on. I think he's got you know the elite running capability, so that's a big tick. When I've been to training, I've seen him do you know those 400 meter runs and sprints with the main group. So he's right there with Sam Walsh. He's right there with Ed Kerno. He's right there with Lockie O'Brien. And so in terms of running ability, it's a big tick. It's just a matter of can that running ability translate into on-field success? Can he get the ball enough? Can he win the ball enough? Uh, I feel like he's probably more of a halfback flanker slash midfielder. But again, haven't watched too much of him. So I'm going to rely on you guys in the audience to let me know a little bit about Matt Cottrell. I've seen you know, some comments and some I've chatted to some people who who firmly believe that he's going to play games in the ones this year. And, and if he does, it'd be a surprise to me because I just don't know whose spot he's going to be taking. But by all means, if he's able to elevate himself to a point where we can say, right, you are part of that list of 30 players on our list who could play in an AFL game, then that'd be great. So look, I wish him all the best. I get the feeling like he's probably going to have to show something this year um, to really stake a claim because at the end of the year, you just put pressure on yourself. If you've been on the list for a couple of years, you know, mature age recruit, haven't cracked into a game just yet. And so I'm just mindful of that, but happy to be proven wrong and wish him all the best. Let me know what you think. Where does Matt Cottrell fit into this team, if at all?